the ANC reaffirms its position that the Constitution is a mandate for radical transformation both of society and the economy. A proper reading of the Constitution on the property clause enables the state to effect expropriation of land with just and equitable compensation and also expropriation without compensation. The Constitution as it stands does not impede expropriation of land without compensation. The ANC Le Khotla reaffirmed its position that a comprehensive land reform program that enables equitable access to land will unlock economic growth by bringing more land in South Africa to full use. The ANC will, through the parliamentary process, finalize a proposed amendment to the Constitution that outlines more clearly the conditions under which expropriation of land without compensation can be effected. The nightmare in South Africa has just got it a lot worse. On the same day that the International Monetary Fund voiced their strong warnings to South Africa not to go ahead with the expropriation of land without compensation, the President of South Africa, Cyril Ramaphosa, or should I say the leader of the ANC, because you will see that he did this announcement in his capacity as the leader of the ANC. He has made it known that the South African government and the ANC will go ahead with taking land without compensation. Now, he does it very eloquently. But the history of the last 22 years of South Africa and with what has happened in Zimbabwe and what has happened over the last year in South Africa makes it very, very clear. This is about winning an election next year at all costs. They will destroy South Africa. They will destroy the farming community. They will divide the nation to get the votes. There's no, this is not about developing black farmers. If it was the 20,000 odd farms that's already been taken, those farmers would have been receiving the support, the support. But they didn't. And most of these farms are not productive anymore. So now we're going to go ahead and do more and not pay for the land. And we're going to allow, allow illegal squatters on land and illegal inv invasions they cannot even at the moment control that. How are they going to control it now? But to them it does not matter because they are telling the world that this land was stolen, which it was not. This is not being done to make South Africa better. It's being done to destroy South Africa, to destroy the farmers of South Africa. So we will be voicing our strong condemnation. We will be marching for the farmers and I'm asking Australia and the Australian government to really support the farmers. Farmers are a special breed. We need them not just to feed us. We need them because they are the, the link to the land both in Australia and in South Africa. So please like this page, support what we do and if we cannot change the mind of the South African government in terms of this, let's change the world's opinion and we urge them to assist South Africans, to assist them through visas, through any way possible. We cannot wait until people are dead and then help them. Thank you.
Why would you want to talk about the Lord and other owner land? Now you're done like a kill and give a bit of a gift. So, on the other hand, if Mutomoto, Ruileco, Mumo or Ruileco, what? Kituana Kiki Kigavakano, Hombo, Agatina Hollywood, and Lur Kituana Kiravako Line again. But Elur Gilkua, Mutomusue, Wakano, and Yavana Hola, let the Rabu Line, Kituana Kela, or the Dabako Line again. So, when I put a boat to go on about four hours over on a land, Waruta was gone. You know what, Tanu always called to one hour back. I'll tell you. So, why were not to put a boat on a land? Renava to our teacher, I'll be to own a land. We are going to be to own a land. Oga Siri said, Ola, Gaya, Manaupizuri, Nanga own a land. ปัญหาเรื่องอะไรนี่การอะกูเลยนี่การการการปลาสการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการการ